For the rotational collisions lab, this is a very simple equipment list. Essentially all you have is your rotation dynamics apparatus, the pin which allows you to lock the two discs together, the top disc, and the bottom disc. The top disc is replaceable by a different plate, or a different disc, this one made of steel, this one is aluminum. And for the collisions lab, we have a pin that fits into the spindle. And this is, allows us to lock the two discs together. When the pin is in, it forces the air to come between the uh, discs rather than come out through the top. There's a right way and a wrong way to place this disc on the spindle. In this case, we've shown the wrong way. The spindle's here. Note how this is flush with the surface. In this configuration, there's a dent here, and that should be in the upward position. We need to do three different runs for, the, for this equipment. Uh, in this case, we have the aluminum disc on top and the steel disc on bottom. That means they have different moments of inertia. So, in this case, we'll just simply start one off in this direction. We keep this one mostly still, just it's easy to do. When we're ready to collide, we've already started taking data in data studio. We pull the pin, and they both lock together. When it comes time to switch off your disc, essentially all you have to do is take this one off, put this disc on, put the locking pin back in, and then we can basically repeat the experiment, this time with two steel discs, so they have the same moment of inertia. Note this one's spinning in the opposite direction. When they both lock together, we can actually take their final speeds to be exactly the same.